Like everything I do, I am constantly evolving my thinking, strategies, techniques, and so this video is an update to my very, very long video on mesotox or mesobotox. Essentially, uh, to summarize what mesotox is, it's a dilute Botox placed into the skin surface by injection that I hand inject into the skin after I've numbed the skin with numbing cream, and that after one or two months, you start to see a change to the quality of skin, the pores, the texture, the tone, even discoloration, all of those things, and eventually some rosacea too, but that takes a little longer. It does not manage wrinkles, it does not cause paralysis of the face, uh, and it's very safe in terms of sun exposure. It's safe in every skin type from Irish all the way to black. And uh, I want to sort of walk you through today in this video the evolution of what I've been doing. So I've been doing this treatment for about 10 years, but really for the first, I would say five to six years, I was doing it for the wrong reason. I was trying to do it for wrinkles. And in order to get wrinkle reduction, you need to have a high enough dose that it paralyzes, but then that's not sustainable and no one wants a paralysis. So I was still getting really, as a derivative benefit, incredibly good changes to the skin. And I was discounting that, really focused initially on wrinkle reduction, because that's how I heard a colleague of mine in Philadelphia who presented on this topic about 10 years ago and who was really talking about how great that was for wrinkles. It really isn't. I use a dilute filler to manage these dynamic wrinkles. You can watch a video on that subject. But when I'm treating these, the skin texture and tone and quality of skin, with derivative benefit, I'm seeing incredible results. So just think about when you do regular Botox for your forehead, if you really look carefully, you'll see not only are the wrinkles so much better, but you actually, this is talking about concentrated Botox in the forehead, but you also get a better texture, poor tone, discoloration, quality of skin, everything gets changed. In fact, to the point where I find a disparity when you look at the, the forehead versus the rest of the face, you see this beautiful forehead skin, you see this very bad skin down here, and that's a huge reason why mesobotox has become a huge staple of what I do on a daily basis for my patients. But like anything, I've continued to evolve it. So my first generation product up until the beginning of 2023 had one major disadvantage, temporary paralysis. For about four to six weeks, I would have the face be a little bit frozen and no one liked that. So what I did was I worked in a double blind, randomized fashion with my staff where I did different split doses on them. And my first goal with the revised dosing to get to second generation, which occurred somewhere in the spring of 2023, was to eliminate unwanted paralysis. And I continued to refine that until I released my second generation product about the mid 2023 time. And what I was doing is besides just knocking out the risk of a temporary paralysis, which I really don't see that now, the second goal was also to work on uh, being able to improve the skin to the optimal results. So I was noticing in a double blind fashion, in other words, my staff, I did a split face, they didn't know which dose was which, I didn't know which dose was which, we had one person who was blinded that was unblinded that knew which side was which, and I looked at if I went too low, the results weren't that great, it was still good, but not great, good enough, and I wanted to have no, I wanted it to be low enough dosing to have no paralysis, but high enough dosing that the result was spectacular and I was able to get the exact dose and that dose became my second generation product which I've used now for a year. Then the biggest complaint I've had from patients in the last year has been persistent bruising that could last between one to two weeks and I've had a couple patients complain of three to four weeks of mild bruising um, in the skin. So I realized I had to figure out a way to reduce the bruising and because that was something that became a cosmetic liability where patients who are busy professionals couldn't take the time off to have this treatment, even though this treatment is amazing because it's permanent, in my opinion. I mean, I've, really, I've, I've treated my skin 14 months ago, the result is still there, um, and it builds. Like I've done my wife six times over two years, it's just got better and better and better. Um, but there was, there's a higher bruising profile, so I needed to figure out how to do that. So I have an anti-bruise injection that I've, I needed to um, try. So what I did was I did a, a, a double blind analysis again, doing all different types of dosing on my staff who are my guinea pigs, sorry, my, <laughs> my test subjects who are, who are kind enough to let me um, test this. And I was, a, and so the biggest problem with this is burning. With this newer formulation, I, I get some risk of some burning 
feeling uh, from this injection. And so no one likes the burning feeling. I've been able to play with the dosing and formulation down where I get about 90%, I would say 80, 90% of my patients really don't care about the mild burning. It does stay burning for about five minutes after the injection, uh, but they want the, 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 the improvements that this, this third generation product offers, um, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Uh, so, the, so, so that's how I got the right dosing to get the um, improvement in, in, this, in, in not having so much burning. But again, it, it, it helps in about 90%, 80, 90% of my patients, but not everyone loves and tolerates. And so if I start injecting it and someone feels like, hey, there's a little bit too much burning, I don't like this, I just switch out to second generation products. So what are the, there are two major, dis, uh, major advantages and two major disadvantages of my third generation products. So the first uh, improvement is already what I've described is really improvement in bruising. So what are we talking about? I oftentimes see very little to no bruising or there's bruising and it absorbs within three to four days. So it's a very short time window. Can I guarantee that? Obviously I can't, but the window of bruising has been markedly, markedly, markedly reduced. The other very cool thing with this anti-bruise product that, I'm in, uh, that I've incorporated is that the skin color actually becomes more even very quickly, like especially brown discolorations. And I've been using different levels of uh, treatments for brown. So I use what's called Supertox, Supertox Plus. This is the name of my third generation product. So if you hear me refer to it as Supertox, that is uh, what I'm, I, I will call it. I'm actually working on a fourth generation product called Ultratox. That's probably about six months away. Um, but with Supertox, again, one, I've already re eliminated the paralysis risk by second generation. Now I'm trying to reduce bruising, but as a derivative benefit, I'm seeing two other advantages. Um, with this, one other advantage is I'm seeing an even coloration of the skin that it would take me four to five rounds with my second generation product. I'm seeing it now with one round. And so I'm seeing brown discoloration better. And so um, I can, I, I, that has been a huge, huge gain in terms of now the two disadvantages, I already alluded to it. One is that there can be a little more burning, which is easily fixable. I can just switch out to some other, uh, to second generation, or I can give you on a Pronox, which is a breathable nitrous gas. The whole procedure is super fast. I'm done about five minutes. I'm, I'm very quick at this. I do this several times a day in my patients. Um, and there really is no risk to this product. I mean, there barely is a risk that I can even think about. I can't think of one. It's about the only thing I do here that's practically risk-free. You can go in the sun the next day. I, I don't care if you are a central black person or an Irish person, any, any shade of color between Hispanic, Asian, it doesn't matter. It's, it's very safe. You go to the swimming pool the next day. Uh, there's no risk of migration or paralysis, unlike Botox up here where I tell patients not to touch for four hours. The other dis disadvantage, it costs about $50 more. It's not a huge cost difference, but it's just to cover some of the expenditure of the materials that I'm using, um, but that is really the difference between the, the uh, second and third generation product between what I call Mesotox and my third generation product, which I call Supertox. I also do a, a variation of it called Supertox Plus. So Supertox Plus is a even higher concentration of anti-bruise. And with that treatment, I see zero bruising and off, oftentimes, at, at, like they don't even bruise the next day. However, I would say 99% of patients would not tolerate um, the, the discomfort. Um, now this is going to sound awful, but I know that people that have actually had uh, a lot of emotional issues as a child where they may have been molested, where they've shut down their, their, their feelings, they can tolerate this very high concentration, but almost no one else does. So I actually do not offer this Supertox Plus when someone's awake. So when do I do the Supertox Plus? I do it in uh, actually the same time as a surgery procedure of the face. Um, that way there is almost, it, it, there's no pain and it, uh, it doesn't even, in my opinion, add much downtime at all, if anything, because you're already going through a downtime one. In fact, I had a gentleman from Norway accuse, that I did his fat grafting a couple weeks ago and he accused me of not even doing, I don't think he was, I mean, he wasn't being rude, but he said, I don't think he even did it because he could see no evidence of it the next day. And the reason is this anti-bruise uh, is so concentrated when I do it that it actually, I oftentimes it's not bruise at all. But again, I do not want to offer that when patients are awake. So it's a great bonus. Now, what surgeries would I offer it with? If it's a rhinoplasty, a fat graft, a blepharoplasty, something other facial treatment, um, I do it. If I do a hair transplant, I do it with that while the patient is either sedated or asleep. 
What are cases I don't do that? Uh, I won't do it with a facelift because when a facelift, I'm actually raising flaps. I'm worried with this injection that can cause uh, any kind of ischemia or, or blood supply issues. The odds are probably incredibly low, but I don't like low. I like close to zero or zero. So when I work on patients, if, they're doing, if you're doing a fat graft or if you're doing a blepharoplasty, if you're doing a, um, uh, as again, a hair transplant or something like a rhinoplasty, uh, otoplasty, I, I can combine the procedure and do it while you're uh, sedated so that I can do that higher dosing treatment um, for you. Now, actually, to be honest with you, when I'm doing a hair transplant, you're not quite as sedated. I'll, I'll most likely be doing a uh, Supertox instead of a Super, Supertox Plus. Uh, that being said, it's still really even more comfortable because you don't even feel that slight burning. But when you're under, under general anesthesia or really, really deep sedation, uh, I can do a Supertox Plus treatment. Um, the, those are probably the key things that I, I sort of want to introduce you to these multi-generation products. Uh, really passionate about this. I think that this is, it fixes acne scars, it fixes uh, traumatic scars, it fixes uh, all different types of problems on the skin from active acne, uh, uh, rosacea, uh, melasma, uh, uh, freckles, brown spots, uh, texture, pores, quality of skin, um, but not directly wrinkles, as I said. That's the only thing it did. I don't think right now in 2024, I'm convinced it does a massive difference in. But just it just looks amazing in terms of how you, you, you see yourself. One point I just want to re uh, reiterate that's from the last video is that it does take about one to two months to see the difference. It's not immediate, unlike regular Botox. Uh, oh, I forgot to mention too, is I'm seeing a trend now of a faster result. So on my third generation product, Supertox, I'm seeing results where it's, you're at about one month out seeing a result versus two months out, um, and it's much faster outcomes. The other thing, um, what else I wanna tell you? Oh, the interval. So people, uh, I just wanna finalize with this. This is something that people, uh, I think it's in my longer video, but I just briefly mentioned this in the shorter video, is that the interval, if someone's in a hurry to get really good results, like they're getting married or they're going to a reunion, I do them every month, even before they see the full effect, because I want to stack up the doses as fast as the result as possible. Uh, if someone is wanting to see what they pay for, they take the slow road to get there, then, or they have minor issues, then I would do a minimum of two months so that you can see what you paid for in the last round before you do the next round. But unlike regular Botox, the interval is really irrelevant because this, I believe this treatment is really long lasting, if not permanent in many cases, that uh, you, know, you could do it to whatever level financial commitment you wanna make, a time you want to do it, what, you know, any, time, any kind of downtime. You can figure out what works for your schedule. So you know, I'm 14 months out from my treatment. If I decide to do another one, I'm just stacking on the previous dose and imp further improving it. And you know, if you have really bad acne scars, that's the second case where I'm doing it every month for someone that can fit the budget because those scars are gonna take multiple rounds to get there and they want a faster result. So I may do someone every month for that reason. Uh, if they have the financial budget and the downtime to, to accommodate that then, and they trust me, I think those are the three things that are important to accelerate that result uh, in terms of therapy.